Hey, what's up? This is Jay Watts with Uber Jeep AZ. And I wanted to show you guys something tonight, exactly how these rideshare companies or these delivery companies are doing this right now. I haven't done Uber Eats in a while. So tonight, I decided just to turn my Uber Eats on just to see what I would get. So I turned it on. It was $2.38 for four miles. I had to get to the McDonald's, sit there and wait, get the food, take it to the guy. And I'm thinking... This is a perfect opportunity to show what we've been talking about, about how these ride share companies are screwing us and taking most of the fare that these customers are paying. These customers are paying a fare thinking, oh, well, this is going to the driver. Trust me, it's not all going to the driver. I got $2.38 out of a $5.99 service charge to bring somebody a triple burger deal. I wanted to do it just to show. Now, I had other stuff going on. I had some pretty good rides going on with Lyft. I had some airport rides going. But I wanted to just show what Uber Eats would do to me in the middle of the night. 20 minutes of my night, $2.38 for four miles. I wanted to document it. And I let enough time pass to see if this guy was going to give me a tip. No tip, nothing. 20 minutes of my night. And... If I would have done that three times, that would have been an hour, $2.38 for three hours, I would have ended up making about $7. Yep, but this is what the ride share companies are doing to us. And you know me, I do pretty well. I mean, when I'm out driving, my hours, this is about how much I make, you know, per hour when I'm out cruising. And I mean, I can cruise a whole night and bank this much. But if I'm out doing Uber Eats at $2.38 every 20 minutes, seven dollars an hour pretty much i mean in eight hours i would be making 56 dollars in eight hours i would have already burnt through about 56 dollars worth of gas at that point it would have pretty much been a night where i would have made no money it would have been a zero sum game so this is why a lot of you people that are out there doing these orders and saying well nobody's picking up my food nobody's picking up my food why would somebody pick up your food if it's a zero sum game for us and I know you're like, well, I paid the ride share company. You're right, you did. But without thinking of the driver, why should the driver think of you? So when you're out there thinking, well, I got a McDonald's order, or I got a Panda Express order, or I got this order, nobody's picking it up. This is why. This is why nobody's picking it up. Because we can have some really lucrative nights out there driving people around, or even picking up food that, that's worth more. I mean, if somebody says, hey, you know what? Throw $8 on there for 20 minutes. Hey, $8 in 20 minutes times that time three, that's $24 an hour. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. In about 8 to 10 hours, you're making about 240 bucks. where you spent 50 bucks. So you're netting about $190 that night working, you know, eight hours. So you're roughly, you know, over 20 bucks an hour. You're doing pretty well. But you can't survive off of $7 an hour because... Everything you make, you're putting right back into your gas tank. You're making zero dollars per hour at the end of the night in profit, which is, like I said, a zero sum game. But I just wanted to prove it to you guys. That's why, you know, I took screenshots of everything to let you know that I did not do any other rides. I wasn't cherry picking just to see what. No, turn my app on. 20 minutes of drive time is all I use, which is ironically this one order, which was 20 minutes. I didn't cherry pick. This is what these apps are doing. So the next time you have food sitting somewhere and you're wondering why it's been sitting there all night, it's probably because it's $2, $3, $4, and you haven't done anything else. If anything's less than 7 or $8, a lot of people are not going to touch it because $8 is going to probably get you closer to like, you know, $20, $30 an hour for driving around on your own fuel using gas, your insurance, your car hitting potholes and tires popping, I mean, 20 something dollars an hour for that versus $7 an hour. Think about it. So the next time somebody delivers your food, consider giving them a tip. Just consider it. You don't have to, but consider it. Say, you know what? This person is could be doing anything with their time other than delivering my hamburger. And I'm really going to let this person ride around and make $7 an hour all night, $7 an hour on their fuel, paying insurance on their vehicle that's depreciating, needing maintenance on it, tires. I'm really gonna give this person $7 an hour. Think about it. 